We can all agree that The Sims 2 is kind of an old game. What I do not agree with is that it's ugly and people refuse to play it for that. In my opinion, The Sims 2 has the best gameplay in the franchise and I really don't think people should skip it just because of the graphics. So in this video, I would like to tell you guys how can you make your Sims 2 game look up to date, modern and look simply amazing. Welcome back to Cozy Pixels. Let's jump into it. This video will take up from uh, two big parts. In the first part of the video, we will talk about how can you make your neighborhoods look much, much better. And in the second half of the video, we will talk about how can you make your sims and lots look modern and look amazing. So the first thing we can do in our neighborhood is download a default replacement terrain. The thing is with the sims 2 neighborhoods and in the sims 2 in general, that the grass looks kind of ugly in the game. I'm not gonna lie, even on the highest settings in the game, the grass just looks kind of dead and dry and basically it has no color whatsoever so the terrain replacement fixed this there are several different uh, replacement types if you want you can just choose one which is uh, the best for your taste i linked a few in the description which you can check out and i highly recommend the one i use as well it's by curious b and i think it looks gorgeous in the game it replaces all terrain types not just the lush but the desert and the concrete ones as well and they all look gorgeous so i highly recommend you guys to check out so this would be the first step after you chose a default replacement for your terrain which you like the most let's go to the roads a lot of terrain replacements have roads with them already so make sure that if you downloaded one which has a road replacement as well do not download a separate one because it will cause conflicts in the game and it might break it so make sure that um, any type of replacements you only have one in the game one of these types of terrains which includes roads as well is cricket's rural charm which is very popular and i i know why it looks gorgeous and it fits perfectly for farm and rural type of neighborhoods i don't really play with farm neighborhoods that much but if you do you really want to check it out because it's it's gorgeous but if your terrain doesn't have roads you have to get them separately and I linked a few in the bio as well. There are different types of roads for your different type of neighborhoods uh, and by that I mean that if your play style is different you can get different type of roads which match your taste like uh, concrete roads more uh, rural roads like the cricket one uh, in the description i linked one which is cobblestone road and it's beautiful i might uh, download that in my game so make sure to look around check the recommendations in the description and let me know which one is your favorite guys because there are a lot and a lot of amazing default replacements and this would be the second thing that you might want to consider the third thing and for me it's really like a game breaker and i'm in love with this is the default replacement trees. Just as with the crest, the trees lack something in The Sims 2. Their models are horrendous, if I might say so. I'm sorry, EA, but they look ugly. And uh, these default replacement trees replace the original uh, Maxis trees in your neighborhood with much more realistic, much lively and beautiful trees and they change with the seasons as well just like the maxis trees one of my favorites is by cricket as well i think their name will come up a lot in this video i love their creations and i think that they are really like the god of neighborhood deco in the sims 2 so really i really really recommend check out their work and not just the default replacements but the other neighborhood deco as well and in the description i linked another one by honeywell they are beautiful as well honeywell replaces all types of trees from your neighborhood while the cricket one only replaces the oak trees make sure that if you download both um, for the oak trees only put one file in your download folder because otherwise they will conflict with each other so i think these three are like the must-haves if you really want to have a beautiful neighborhood and now i will talk about a few things which i consider a bit extra so like they are not mandatory but i think they really really make your neighborhoods beautiful so i recommend you to check them out first one of these is the skybox the skybox is basically an object which you have to place as neighborhood deco and it creates a globe around your neighborhood with skype and cloud pattern and a lot of them are stunning i saw a lot and lot and lot of beautiful skyboxes i use the sky of totalitarianism by lodius it's beautiful and it has animated clouds i link them in the description i highly recommend you to check them out but there are a lot of nice skyboxes like uh, for different themed neighborhoods fantasy sci-fi etc they look amazing in your game and they give that little extra touch so when your sims look up at the sky or you take a photo you won't just see the blank blue sky but you can see the patterns and the clouds and the different colors so i think it totally 
towards downloading it so make sure to check it out guys i know i say make sure to check it out a lot but I'm really passionate about these things because I just love looking at my game with, with these stuff in them, if that makes sense. So I'm really passionate and I want you guys to feel the same about your Sims game and I really want to like change people's mind about it because I really hear a lot of people say that this game is ugly when in fact it's not ugly at all, it can be stunning and if you follow Sims 2 tumblers like um, Lazia Sun, her game is absolutely stunning. A lot of times you can't even tell that it's Sims 2 or the other games because it, it just looks so good. The next one is similar to the skyboxes, it's called Skyline and the main difference is that in the globe around your neighborhood this time you won't see the sky but you will see hills and forests away buildings in your neighborhood which act as a backdrop and it will make it seem like your neighborhood continues in the distance instead of just like being a cut at the edge of your neighborhood. In the description I linked Cheesecake's skylines. They look beautiful and they change with the seasons so for example when it's winter in your game the skyline will change to all snowy and wintry and it looks so amazing i absolutely love to have them in my neighborhoods now if you want to have these in your game the skybox or the skylines make sure to download the sky fix which basically fixes an issue that maxis made an invisible box around your lots therefore you can see the object on the sky like the sun stars and the moon for some weird reason and this fix basically fixes that so if you download this you will be able to see the moon the stars the sun and the skyline and the skyboxes next one is a nice addition as well but i don't think it's mandatory it's the neighborhood traffic replacement by cricket again and what it does is basically what the title says it replaces the cars that are cruising around your neighborhood with cars that have better models and textures i think it worth check it out and the last one for your neighborhoods is the water mods in my opinion it absolutely changes the game's aesthetics and vibes that finally the water is reflective and it looks much more beautiful i use wells water mod i hope i pronounced the name right if not i'm sorry please correct me in the comments if i said that wrong but this water mod basically overhauls the water in ponds and the sea as well, making it all reflective and shiny and beautiful. And I can't recommend enough to get this mod, especially together with the skybox. It's chef's kiss. I absolutely adore it. And I just love looking at it in my neighborhoods and in my Sims backyard because I don't know it just looks so nice in my opinion this would be it for the neighborhood default replacements i hope you guys will try out one of them i absolutely love these and i couldn't live without any of these because i build a lot of custom made neighborhoods for myself and my stories and sometimes i just stare at them and like adore them because they look so so amazing with all these nice grass nice water nice skylines it i don't know it just makes it so much more lively if that makes sense so i hope you will try one of these out and now let's jump to the sims so about the sims i don't think they are necessarily that ugly in base game either like a lot of people say i think they look nice uh, i definitely prefer them for the sims 3 like um, jello faced sims i'm sorry but that doesn't mean that the sims 2 can't get a makeover so let's start with the default skin tones eyes and eyebrows aka default genetics as for everything there are lots and lots of default replacements in this category as well i highly recommend you guys to check out the sims 2 default database link in the description and there you can see different categories different items skins eyes skin tones for like different life states etc so make sure to check it out there you can like pick whatever you want but i would love to give a few recommendations the most popular uh, default replacement skins are either made by lilith herself or is a skin blend of one of her skin tones my favorite and the one i use in my game is poppet's feather skin blend which is basically one of lilith's skin tone with a few extra add-ons or fixes on it so link in the description check out both of them i think they are gorgeous and in this one i will make recommendations for maxis match uh, custom content because i play maxis match in my game i don't really like alpha cc but if you play alpha cc and have recommendations please leave them in the comments so others can find it if they want for eyes and eyebrows i use poppets ones as well she has a lot of nice default replacement skins and genetics 
link in the description make sure to check her out because i think she's an amazing creator but also make sure to check out tumblr because a lot of uh, amazing defaults replacement creators are posting there if you search ts2 defaults then it will show up for you and you can search for hours and can't decide which one do you want at least that's how i go all the time after you picked out which type of uh, default genetics do you want it's time to move to the hairs which i think is like the weakest point of the base game maxis aesthetic i really don't like the base hairs in sims 2 so default replacements for hair is a must for me now with hairs you might want to pay a little bit more attention because there are different uh, textures created by different creators and a lot of different people use them for the default hairs so if you want to have all your hairs match in the game, make sure to decide which type of textures do you want. There are different um, texture packs. One of them is by Poppet and is called Poppet V2. One is by Pooklet, there is Remy Color and Simgaroop, and there is one which is by MikeXX2, it's called the New Hair System, and it's not that new actually, but the name sticks since anyway. I actually don't mind multiple type of textures in my game because I think in real life not all redheads have the same type of red hair and not all blonde people have the same type of blonde hair, but I can absolutely understand those who are annoyed by this because this means that, for example, you can't pick one hair for your one sim because then it would be weird if their everyday hair would be like this type of red and their formal hair would be like this type of red so i totally understand that's a bummer so make sure to check uh, in every description of the download which type of textures do they use and which type do you want to have in your game i will link a few of my favorite creators in the description i actually use poppet's v2 hair in my game and a few of mike xx2's default hairs as I said, I don't mind of them being uh, different, but I can totally understand if some do. Also, there's a different thing that um, you can decide if you want to have the different uh, hairs with hair accessories hidden or do you want to download a default replacement for them which are all separate by that i mean for example the mansion and garden hair with the headband there are at least four different colors of headbands so you can either decide if you want to hide the rest and only download one default replacement for one of them or do you want to have a default replacement for all of them and if you want the first one you can download the hair hider thing which hides the rest and only shows you one which the default replacement is for if you want to download one for all of them that's possible as well there are creators who do that and i highly appreciate because in my opinion the more hair the better but i can understand uh, the other point of view but i think the hair hider doesn't stop townies from spooling with that hair if you want to avoid that you might want to download a separate one for each of them now to the default clothing which is like the dark hole of cc for me i can spend hours and hours and hours looking for clothing and default clothing in the sims and i can go on until the sun rises i just love these i love it so much it actually i think it feels like actual shopping for me like looking for cc sometimes i just look for cc and don't even play the game after <laughs> so that's me here, once again, I will recommend to check out the default database because there you can choose each clothing item by the game. And if you click on one of them, you can see the catalog of default replacements for that clothing item, which I think is very handy. Also, I should mention again that please do not download multiple default replacements for one clothing item because it can either break the certain clothing item, which is the less problem and break your game, which is like the bigger problem. So make sure that you don't download the same replacement twice. Actually, for downloading clothing, I would recommend to keep a list or some kind of file where you can see which clothing item you already have default replacement for and which not. And it makes it easier to like switch them later in the game because you can just search for their name in your downloads folder and delete it and put the other one in. I know it sounds like a lot of hassle, but from my experience, I can totally mess them up, totally forget which I downloaded already and which not. So if you want to be safe and make sure that your downloads folder is organized, I would recommend keeping some sort of uh, track of what you downloaded already and whatnot. Of course, I have my favorite default replacement creator as well. I will link their blog in the description. I think their taste in Sims clothing is very similar to mine, so I love most of their default replacements. Obviously, it's very subjective, I think, so you might want to have another type of re replacement for that certain clothing item. And that's why the default database is amazing, because there you can find every style of clothing for that certain item in-game. And the last one here is 
Maxis item recolors. I put it here because I think it's an easy way to make your game prettier by downloading um, Maxis item recolors because I think in all of the Sims games except of course the Sims 3 we have this issue where the swatches are not really matching and it's really annoying because in, for example in the Sims 2 apartment life came with a whole new wood swatch and they look nice they look gorgeous but for example if you want to put an item from apartment life and an item from seasons they just absolutely do not match not even similar so i think um, recolors fix this issue and uh, they are lighter on your game than separate objects so it won't increase your loading time that much but it can make the game look much nicer at least if you don't hate the maxis meshes which i actually don't i just uh, get annoyed by that they don't really match with anything that's why i have these recolors in my game as well my two favorite persons who do base game recolors are Liz and Lua. I will link them in the description. Liz does more of a natural color scheme type of recolors and Lua does the bright colorful things and a lot of them are actually like decoration items and furniture like couches. So I really recommend checking them out both and I will add a few other people in the description as well. Make sure to check them out and pick whatever floats your boat. I love how we all have different styles in this game. And I think the game being old is actually an advantage at this point because there's so many things that you can expand your game with and you are not limited to the base game features. And as I said at the beginning of the videos, I think that you can always update looks and graphics of a game with like texture replacements and stuff, but you can't upgrade and fix the gameplay itself and the missing features. I mean there are mods for The Sims 4 but I think that the lack of wants and fears mechanics it's so blank for me and that's why I stick with The Sims 2 through all these years because The Sims are actually interesting in this game. They have memories, they have fears, they have wants, lifetime wishes. They do totally random things if you let them and they want totally random things as well. So it keeps the game alive and I think graphics can be updated. And also I think it was a separate video but I want to mention here that there are shaders for this game which totally changes the game. Like I don't play with shaders but I see people who do and the game looks absolutely stunning with them. I plan to make a different video on that. If you are interested, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any recommendations. What do you guys think about this topic? Do you think uh, graphics are outdated or does that matter to you if a game's graphics are updated or not? For me personally, I don't mind. I love old games. And for me, graphics is not something I really appreciate if the gameplay of the story of a game is not that good. If you enjoyed this video, Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye bye!